Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna show you how Avaya IP Office Manager works and what's the features of this software. So we're using this software when we're setting up local phones. So first you need to know what is the IP address of your Avaya Phone Manager. So, so after that you need to log in using this software which is called the by IP office manager and then after that you will see on the left side of your screen there are different tabs so if you take a look at this uh, we have extensions users groups so there's a lot of, there's a lots of uh, different tabs that you can set up but the most common that we are using is extension and user so like for example we want to change or we, we want to set up a uh, extension number on one phone so we need to go to extension tab and then after that we're gonna look for a specific phone that we want to use so we have here the existing extension numbers and then under that we will see we can see the phones or what type of telephones on that extension so we have different types so like for example you you just want to change the extension number of a specific phone that you have so like for example this one you just want to change the, exten the extension number you just need to type the extension number that you want and then let's say my extension number is 740 so let's say I want to change it to 741 oh no uh, 741 is already it's not available anymore so we need to check the available extension number so we have seven four let's say three and click ok and then don't forget to save it then after that uh, on the top of the screen of your abaya office manager you have save configuration don't forget to save it After saving, so this is the configuration. So I will choose merge. If you choose immediate, it will shut down all the phones connected to this IP IP uh, office manager. So just click merge so that when the phone reboot, it will change. It will take the change will take effect. So click OK, merge, and then after that, we need to go to our base extension, which is 743. Go to user tab. On the user tab, just find your name. So I have my name, which is Richard740. So you just need to change it to 743 and then just hit okay after that save the configuration again and then hit merge and that's how you do it